Have you ever dreamt of winning the lottery? I'm going to show you how to create your very own lottery number generator using Microsoft Excel and learn some skills along the way. For this tutorial, I'm going to use an example of having a lottery with six numbers picked between 1 and 49. I've set up six placeholders along the top of my worksheet for the six drawn numbers. You might think that I could simply do a random number between 1 and 49 for each of our placeholders. However, we can't have the same number drawn twice. Let me demonstrate. I'll enter the following formula in each of the placeholders. Equals. Followed by rand between. Then an opening bracket. Then the lowest number in our range of possible draw numbers, which is a 1. Next, another comma followed by 49, which is the highest possible draw number. Finally, I will finish it off with a closing bracket. I'll now copy the formula to the remaining placeholders. Now, using the F9 key to refresh the random results, let's see how long it takes before we generate a duplicate. Well, that didn't take very long. Okay. I'm going to delete the formulas from our placeholders so we can create a solution that works much better at removing the likelihood of a duplicate number being drawn. If you recall, in our scenario for this tutorial, we are using a lottery that has six numbers drawn that are numbered from 1 to 49. Our first step is to create a list in column B of the numbers from 1 to 49. I'll start by entering 1, 2, and 3. Then, I'll highlight them and drag using the autofill handle until I reach 49. Next, I want to generate a random number beside each of our numbers. I'm doing this so that I can then determine my six drawn lottery numbers by sorting by the random numbers beside them. By using this method, the odds of the same number being picked twice are quite remote. I'm going to do this by using the following formula. Equals. Followed by Rand. And then an opening bracket. And then a closing bracket. This will generate a number between 0 and 1 with 6 decimal places. I'll now click Enter so that we can see the resulting random number. To copy the formula to the remaining rows, I can double-click on the autocomplete handle. We now have our 49 random numbers. One for each of the 49 possible numbers that can be drawn. This next step is optional, but it will make things easier on me as I proceed. I'm going to highlight this range of random numbers and name it, Random Numbers. And then I'm going to highlight the whole range and name it, Draw List. Now, I'm going to use the large function to find the highest valued random numbers. The syntax is, equals, large, followed by an opening bracket. Next, I need to specify the range of values. I could highlight the range of random numbers. However, since I named the range a few moments earlier with the name, random numbers, I can do that now. I'll now add a comma and then the number 1. I am using the number 1 because I want the highest valued random number in our range. To finish off the formula, I'll add a closing bracket and click enter. I'll click the F9 button a few times so that we can refresh the range of random numbers to demonstrate that the output of our large function changes as well. So, we know that the large function has found the highest valued random number. And, that we need 6 total numbers drawn for our fictional lottery. If you look at our large function and see the number 1 for the highest value random number, 
What do you think we need to do for the remaining five numbers to be drawn? If you said change the last number to 2, 3, 4, and so on, then you would be absolutely correct. This will give us the top six random values that we can then associate with the possible draw values of 1 to 49 without any duplicates. To do this, I'm going to copy the formula five times and then change the last parameter in each to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'll click F9 a few times to show that it's working properly. Now, the next thing we have to do is find the corresponding draw number from 1 to 49 that these top 6 random numbers are associated with. I will use the VLOOKUP function to do this. Let's start with the first number drawn. Equals. Followed by VLOOKUP and then an opening bracket. Now, I'll pick the first number determined by the large function. Which is this value? Next, I'll add a comma, and then type, draw list. If you remember from earlier, this was the name we gave to the draw numbers and the random numbers associated with them. For the next parameter, I'll add the number 2 because I want the value in the second column from the left. This would be the draw number. One more comma. And for the last parameter, I'll enter a value of false, because I want the VLOOKUP function to look for an exact match to the value. I'll finish the formula off with a closing bracket, and then click Enter. The only thing I need to change in each of these is the first value, the output of the large function. I'll speed things up while I repeat this process for each of the numbers drawn. Once again, I'll hit the F9 key a few times to rerun the random numbers. I'll now quickly place these draw results into the placeholders above so everything looks a little more professional. There we have it. I'll click the F9 key a few times to run the lottery number generator a few times. We have created a lottery number generator in Microsoft Excel and learned some skills along the way. And if you would like to see more fun uses of Excel like this, I'm sure you'll love this video where I use Excel to create a Kino simulator.